Hello everybody and welcome to my review of this external hard drive enclosure with USB 3.0 and eSATA connectivity. This is the ICDoc ICCube MB561U3S 4SBR1. What a brilliant easy to remember name, right? <laughs> anyway, this is the 4-bay external HDD enclosure with support for both 3.5 and 2.5 inch drives. Also, this enclosure is available in silver and white or black. I have the black one, obviously. And yes, RAID is supported in fact, as long as the control does support eSATA port multiplying. So this product should be pretty fast and comes with really impressive features, all that at a price point of about 195 US dollars. I apologize to ICDoc for taking so long to complete this review and would like to thank them for their patience and for providing me this enclosure for testing. In a box, the IC Cube enclosure itself, yes, I'm avoiding the long and confusing model name there, haha, <laughs> included the user manual, the screws for 3.5 as well as 2.5 inch drives, the USB 3.0 and E SATA cable, the power adapter, and the power cord. Now the MB561U3S4SBR1 <laughs> comes in at dimensions of 141 by 175 by 235 millimeters. USB 3.0 slash eSATA interface, up to four drives are supported at max, 3.5 as well as 2.5 inch SATA drive support, max transfer rates, 6 gigabits per second for eSATA, 5 gigabits per second via USB 3.0 or 480 megabits per second with USB 2.0. UASP support, max drive capacity, right now drives with up to 10 terabytes have been tested. 180mm fan, Windows 10 and Mac OS X 10.9 operating system support and as for the weight, 2390 grams without any drives installed. The very first thing I just have to point out is the amazing build quality. This enclosure is incredibly sturdy with its thick aluminum body. Just very little is out of plastic here. To get started with the installation of drives, you just push down the ejection tab in the front to release this tray lever. Then simply pull out the tray like that. At this point, I'm very surprised to get to see amazingly well-built trays out of metal. Then screw the drive in place with the included screws. And once that's done, we push the tray back into the rails inside by using the lever. A toolless design would be cool. Yes, but as long as you don't switch out hard drives all too often, it doesn't matter. The next step is to either connect the USB 3.0 or eSATA cable to the enclosure. Do not connect both. Only one interface can be used at a time. Then plug in the power cable. To turn the enclosure on, there's this power switch at the back. Why at the back? It would make more sense for it to be somewhere in the front. Also, I should let you know that the fan is detachable, so replacing the fan might not be too hard. Uh, you'll have to solder your new one back on, as you can see. Not a big deal, fans usually last a long, long time. What I noticed here, however, is that the whole enclosure somehow slides out way too easy when fiddling around too hard with the fan at the back. Might not be a big deal, but I'm fearing some vibration noises because of that. Now, when the enclosure is powered on, the LED indicators of the installed drives will light up in white. For this demo, I've installed two drives and both are immediately detected by Windows. Hot swapping is indeed supported here. Noteworthy is the fan control feature. On the back, we're getting a switch with three options, high, low, and auto. I'd recommend leaving it on auto, so the enclosure will monitor the hard drive's temperatures and will make the fan ramp up when more cooling is needed. IC Dock promises very quiet operation and I can totally confirm that. On low or auto most of the time, the fan is super quiet, even when setting the switch to high, not too bad actually. Now as for performance, transfer speeds, the enclosure or should I say controller does not limit performance at all, even when moving data from and to drives within the IC Cube, which I did not expect. So it's definitely very useful needing only one cable to have access to a total of four drives, and that all externally. While eSATA might be able to offer a little more performance, USB 3.0 wins, due to its implementation in so many PCs and laptops. So while I may not be a big fan of such external HDD enclosures anymore due to a personal bad experience with a product of this kind, I do have to admit, this one looks very promising. The build quality is solid, especially the trays, wow. 
The fan is pretty quiet and the fact that there's even fan control on board with a switch for us is relatively impressive, I honestly gotta say. And yeah, performance wise I don't expect wonders and we aren't seeing any here, but just like most comparable products, you don't miss out on much speed when connecting the drives externally via a single cable. At a price of $195, a good product, I really can't complain. So even though I am no longer a fan of external HDD enclosures, I actually can recommend this IcyDoc IC Cube MB561U3S4SBR1 Silver Award. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.